A basic GFX for like beginners if you've never made one before and this is on Mac Windows and basically PC anyways so first what you want to do is get Roblox studio if you already have this great if you don't I will leave a download link in the description so go get that now. okay so once you have it downloaded it will ask you to sign in uh, you'll sign in I think over here I'm not sure but you'll just sign into your Roblox account and then it will bring you to this page so you just want to press base plate and it will load up something that looks like this it might take um a while depending on um how fast your device is okay so when you're here you have to go over to the top bar and press plugins then press manage plugins when you need to here you press the blue button find plugins so this is how you load up your character so you're gonna have to scroll down and um, press on that it says load character it's free and just press install and then it will say load character has successfully installed press ok and it will bring you here just press the x up here at the top bar so now the load character option will be up here at the top in your plugins press that and it will bring you this so double click this and put in whatever username you want to use you can do yours your friends whoever's username so i'm just going to put in mine for now so once you have a character press spawn at origin so it will spawn near you and press spawn r6 now your character will show up um, in your base plate so next you'll have to be over here at explorer if you don't have this open just go to view and press explorer and it will open it up so your character will be right here highlighted in blue just right click it and then go down to export selection click that and save your character whatever you want to i'm just going to name it me and save it to wherever you want to save it okay so that is it for um roblox studio so you can x out of this tab it will ask if you want to save changes just press no you don't have to or you can if you want okay so the next app you will need is called blender it's free and the link to it will be in the description so if you don't have this go get it now okay so once you have blender it will just look like this you don't have to sign in or anything so just tap the screen and it will get rid of that page so first what shows up is just a weird cube uh, you want to get rid of this by pressing delete x so the cube's gone and now you need to load in your character so press go up to here to file scroll down to import and go to the side where it says wavefront obj okay so then go find where you kept your character that you exported once you find it press import and it will show up okay so right now your character is just a uh, white so what you want to do to get rid of this is press this little plus button in the corner and drag this out scroll down to the bottom and press ambient inclusion i think that's how you say it and texture solid okay so what you want to do next is go over to the world button and press environmental lighting and indirect lighting this will make it so when you render your image it will show up and won't be completely black okay so what you want to do next is press shift and f this will allow you to move around. Moving around is just like in Roblox. Press W to go forward, D to go sideways, A to go the other way, and S to go backward. And to go faster, press Shift. So position your camera to be in front of your character so you can see it well. Once you have it positioned, you're ready to start moving your character. So as you can see, your character is outlined. What you want to do is select the part that you want to move. So we're going to select this limb and we're going to be able to move it with these arrows. So use these arrows to move your arm. You could also change your position by pressing this down here. Looks like half a circle 
and you can use it to move around your arm. I'm going to make my character have a waving position, but you can do whatever you want. Just adjust your limbs to fit the body. Just move it down a bit, maybe to the side. It might take a while to get used to it, but you will eventually will once you play around a bit. By pressing shift, you can click multiple items so you can move them all at once. So I'm going to move the head a bit. I'm going to tilt it to the side to make it look more realistic. Okay, so there we have it. So next is more of an advanced step, but you don't have to do this if you don't want to. So what I do is while selecting the limb you want to move, go to object mode, edit mode, go to the white snowball, and press wireframe. This will look a bit weird, but don't freak out, it's okay. So your arm will be kind of an orange color. Right click on the arm, and then press control, move your mouse while left clicking. Select what you want to move, and then you can use this tool to kind of bend it along. You need to watch this part over again to get used to it, but it's pretty simple. It looks confusing, but it's not really. So once you think you're done, go back to solid color, press object mode, and it should be good. Now that I'm done with bending the limbs, um, I'm going to go over here to the sidebar. Under camera, scroll down to shading, click shading, and under sky, where there's this little bar, press it and change it to transparent. This will change the background of your GFX to transparent if you want to make an edit using an editing software. Um, so I highly suggest that. Okay, so not many people know this, but to make your quality better, you can change the resolution. So under camera, go to resolution and change it to 10,000. It will take longer to render this, but it will be better quality. Okay, so now you're wondering, well, how do I render it? So first, you have to go over here to the view. It will be on the left side of the screen. Go to view, scroll up to camera, and it will bring you to where your camera is. So, like moving, you have to press Shift F, then press W to go forward and Shift to go faster. Okay, so now you can position your camera, press A and D to go sideways, and W to go forward, S to go backwards. You can also press E and Q to go down. So now that I have my camera positioned, I'm going to go up to render, which is at the top of the screen, press it, go down one to render image, and it will start to render. So this might take long depending on your computer. You don't have to set your resolution to 10,000 if you don't want to. So now, just wait till it renders. Okay, so now that my GFX is done rendering, go to the left side where it says image. Click that, go up to save as image. It'll bring you to where you want to save it. I usually save my rendered images under desktop but you can save it wherever you want to up here you can name it i'm just going to name it gfx and then press save as image okay so now we are done with blender so you can x out of that okay so because this video is getting kind of long i'm just going to do a speed edit thing of a ding and if you guys want to know i use pixlr to edit my photos so it's free pixlr.com and the link will be in the description
really sorry, but I will be doing more parts to this video. So I will be doing a um, pros guide. Um, so some extra tips, some more um, cool features you can do, and I'll probably be doing how to do a mirror GFX and how to make an animation intro. So those will be in the future. Um, turn on the bell so you can get notified. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Leave a like and subscribe for more. I love my beautiful bubbles so much and I'll see y'all later.